So the two systems we're going to be talking about today, like I mentioned, are the Train Resolute and the Dyke and Fit Heat Pump. Now, if you're not familiar with either of these systems, I'll go ahead and put links to these systems in the description below. But basically, the reason we're comparing these is they're both side discharge heat pumps. They're both split systems that pair with an indoor air handler furnace, so they can be a all-electric heat pump and basically replace your furnace. So you have a true cold climate heat pump. You can do that with backup electric heat strips in an electric air handler, or if you want a dual fuel system, which is a good idea if you live in a cold climate, because on most of the time your heat pump can run and then 10% or 1% of the time, depending on how cold or how warm your cold climate is, you know, the heat pump will drop out and your furnace will run as a backup heat just to make sure things keep up on those colder days. But we're comparing the Resolute between the Dyke and Fit. We're going to talk about some of the reviews that were mentioned on these systems. Like I said, we're going to be going through some of the, the energy data. But the reason we're comparing these again is because they're both side discharge systems. They're both designated as cold climate and just so you know what cold climate is and what we're talking about so if you go here right now I've got the energy star data pulled up and if you're in the market for systems this website is actually a really great resource where you can just go up energystar.gov I'll link this in the description for you but if you go and you click to find products product finder and you look for heating and cooling equipment which is what we talk about on this channel you can find all the different products that qualify for rebates are energy star listed so you can see what they actually qualify for and what the requirements are but if you look at this tax credit if you click on this at tax credit eligibility which this is the federal tax credit that's available on heat pumps right now it's up to two thousand dollars as a tax credit and that 30 percent of the project cost we, we talk about that in another video that you know i'll make sure to link at the end of this but the bottom line is there's some differentiating factors between these colder regions and what qualifies in the warmer regions in the south because if you live in a colder climate and you put in a heat pump they are more interested in something that does well for heating performance than they are for cooling performance but if you live in the south or the southwest or southeast in florida something like that they want to make sure that you're putting in something that is more efficient for cooling and so that's how a lot of those rebates uh, work and they're going to be efficient for both for example the cold climate version of this train system they also make a, an xv19 which is another side discharge system just how the dyke and fit makes a, a non-enhanced version it's just called the dyke and fit heat pump and so it's this nomenclature if you see an e on the end of this so it's like DZ 6 VS and then the model number and the tonnage and then an E towards the end that means that's an enhanced heat pump and that is enhanced stands for cold climate now in order to qualify for that tax credit these systems have to maintain a COP of 1.75 at 5 degrees Fahrenheit what that means is they're maintaining capacity or they're maintaining efficiency at a cold temperature which is designated as 5 degrees that's the threshold now 1.75 is a COP COP stands for coefficient of performance I talk about that more in another video where I explain heat pump efficiency radiating. I don't want to get into it too much in this video, so I'll make sure to link that one at the end for you. But basically, the basic explanation of COP, how many watts of electricity it takes to produce one watt of heat. And so if you have a COP of 1.75, that means that your heat pump for every one watt of electricity it consumes, it produces 1.75 watts of heat. And the reason that's an important measure is because if heat pump is, if it's a COP of one, you might as well just run an electric space heater because because electric resistive heat is always a COP of one because that's how electric resistive heat works. It's one watt of electricity and one watt of heat. Now let's first talk about some of the similarities. Now, when you look at the SEER data rating, now this, the Resolute says it's up to 18 SEER2, up to 10 and a half HSPF2, which is actually pretty high. That's higher than the Dyke and Fit. If we go over here and look at the Dyke and Fit system and we look at these actual specs, up to 17.5 HSPF2 rating is up to 8.6. Now, if we look at at the cold climate version, the HSPF2 rating on this, I believe it's actually a little bit higher, but maybe I'm making that up. I don't know. But bottom line is it looks like Train has the Dyke and Fit beat on that particular model. Now, if we also look at one of the things that I love about the system or these systems in general is that both the Dyke and Fit, if you look at the decibel rating on this, is low as 45 decibels. And just to give you an idea of like a traditional air conditioner, like a single stage system, it's normally running somewhere around 70 decibels. So this is extremely quiet when it first kicks off. On. you could have you could be outside barbecuing and your AC kicks on and you're not gonna hear it I don't see the decibel rating published here but it does say and so when you look at the you know the train system it says the same thing so it's basically neck and neck on the the two and three ton heat pump it says as low well it's actually a little bit noisier it says as low as 55 decibels and then as low as 58 decibels and it says on the air handler it's uh, 45 decibels so that's gonna be your indoor airflow probably when it's first kicking on it's a, it's a little bit colder now a little bit 
bit quieter right now one thing i do want to point out here this is one area where this does have the daikin fit beat and that is on the cold weather performance data so this actually heats down to negative 22. now one thing i'm going to show you and i will go ahead and i'll pull up this dz6 manual for you the daikin fit the cop data when i show you this you'll see why you don't really care and don't really want that sort of information so all this gibberish in the manual that we're looking at right here you might be like oh brother that looks like a lot of numbers what does that mean don't worry i'm going to break it down for you because it's actually simpler once you actually start to dive into it so just to pause here for a second this is the difference between the standard daikin fit and the enhanced there'll be an e in here as we look at the enhanced systems here so when we look at this cop right 3.3 is a cop at 47 degrees outdoor air temperature when you go down here and you see this air temperature is at five degrees and the cop is at two i care about cold climate performance but i don't care so much is once you get down to negative 10 it's at 1.55 once it gets down even below that it's just going to cut out and it's going to get to a point where what's the point of running your heat pump because if your heat pump is as efficient to run as a space heater a space heater is like 20 bucks you should just plug a space heater and run that i'm just using that as an example but that's why you have backup heat which is like your electric heat strips or your furnace but my point is is that it's not at that point there's not really a cost benefit to running a heat pump versus just basic electric heat or a, a furnace backup and so that's why a lot of people when they get a dual fueled system especially in a really cold climate if you're someplace like you know minnesota or you live on the great lakes and you get the wind effect and it gets uh, really cold a lot you're always going to have backup heat up there because the heat pump there's going to be certain times you get a cold snap and uh, the heat's just not going to keep up and so you're going to want that but my point is that you can see as it gets really cold the efficiency of the system in terms of the amount of energy it takes to produce the same amount of heat gets less and less and if you look at the amount of heat it produces at five degrees fahrenheit it's producing an extra five thousand in this instance this is the btu rating this is you know producing an extra five thousand btus technically 4500 btus per hour by comparison to what it's doing at negative 10. so as it gets super cold like that you're rarely going to use it at its absolute coldest temperature the exception to this might be if you are on battery backup and you have solar and so you don't have let's say you're completely energy independent and that you might be connected to the grid but you don't pay for power because you're always using your batteries and you're always using your solar panels to offset 100 percent of your usage in that case hey you might run it when it's super cold out because you don't care and you have a surplus of energy production to where you're not worried about it's always cheaper for you to run it because you're generating your own electricity so that's one thing to consider this system does keep up at cold temperatures it does go down to negative 22 fahrenheit by comparison with the daikin fit enhanced now one thing i do want to point out on the system um that is kind of where train does one up the daikin fit is if you look at the sear data the sear is a little bit higher on daikin the eer data is a little bit lower so the eer2 rating which is an energy efficiency rating i talked about in that video that will be linked at the end is 10 on the daikin fit whereas on the train resolute it's going to vary between 10 and 12. the only reason that is important and this is just my opinion is because in some municipalities or utility providers certain rebates are going to be higher for systems that have a certain eer threshold now this is true in denver we deal with this where systems like the daikin fit super efficient it does not qualify for a rebate in excel territory this will change soon actually is what i've heard because they're changing they're taking our advice working with them for a while to try and get them to change that because the truth is is like if you compare a single stage system and if you look at the energy star data here like this dz5 that qualifies it has higher eer ratings this system will be more expensive to run i guarantee it than the daikin fit but according to excel they're giving you a rebate for this dz5 in our territory because it hits that eer rating of 11.7 but this one does not the daikin fit and so even though the daikin fits a more efficient system and so because of that that's one thing to consider if you're in a territory where you need that extra eer rating in order to get a rebate and that's something you're up against this is something that will might push you towards the train one thing that i want to talk about is train and complaints actually related to noise even though it's allegedly as quiet as the daikin fit but before we touch on that if you haven't done so already please make sure you smash that like button and consider subscribing to the channel if you've gotten value from this so far uh, like i mentioned it takes a lot of energy a lot of research a lot of time to put out content like this subscribing is a free way you can show support it helps us out a lot with the algorithm and it is much appreciated so the noise complaints i want to mention and i looked at these reviews and it was really interesting it was only a couple on here but when they talked about you know noise nightmare and they talked about how noisy the system was and this was particularly in heat pump mode when it's especially when it's going through a defrost cycle one of the comments that i read and you can see like these two things complain about 
noise. When I did a little bit more digging and went into some of the other reviews, one thing that someone talked about was that these systems are very sensitive with charge. Now, and what that means is that when you charge an inverter system, you don't charge it the same way you charge a single stage system, which is how you charge it with refrigerant, meaning you don't charge anything, we charge it. When we're installing these systems, your technician is charging it based on the line set length and the systems are very specifically charged in terms of, hey, you have an extra 10 feet of line set, so you need to add four ounces of refrigerant or whatever the case is for each system. Now, one thing they've said is that the train resolute is that is an indication of an improper charge. So if you have too much refrigerant or too little refrigerant, you're going to have noise issues. It'll be as high as 70 or 80 decibels. And that's a sign that something's wrong because the system should not be that loud. So if you have a train resolute system and it's a noise nightmare, like one of the reviews said, actually just get them to adjust your charge and that should fix it according to one of the reviews that was posted in here. And um, I'll put a link to these products in the description description so you have access to that. The bottom line is that contractors, if you ask 10 contractors, you're going to get 10 different opinions. Well, there's a few reasons, but there's one reason we prefer Daikin as a brand over other brands. They have a 12-year warranty on all their systems. Now, Train System has a 12-year warranty on the compressor, but as a 10-year warranty on parts. Daikin has 12-year on parts and labor. They also do a unit replacement guarantee, which means if that compressor goes out on the Train System, even when it's under warranty, they'll give you a new compressor, which is great. Train's obviously a big name brand brand. They stand behind their product and they'll honor that. Daikin will actually give you a brand new unit. That's what the unit replacement guarantee is. So if that compressor goes out at the 11 year mark, you're going to get, instead of a compressor, you'll actually get a brand new condenser. So you'll get a whole new unit outside. And as a contractor, I like that because it's just a value add for my customer. It also saves us time. It's a little less labor intensive to replace a condenser when we can just disconnect and reconnect. We have to recommission the system. So it still takes some time on an inverter. But the bottom line is it just leaves a better taste in my mouth being able to do that to our customers customers because you spend a lot of money on HVAC equipment, especially this higher end stuff. And so you want it to last. And when it doesn't, you don't want it to leave a sour taste in your mouth like you've got a lemon or something. And, and that's one thing I really like about the Daikin product line. But bottom line is, again, if you get a few bids from contractors in your area, they're all going to have different opinions. So hopefully you found this content helpful. And if you happen to be in one of the areas we service, like Denver, Colorado or Phoenix, Arizona, you can actually schedule an appointment with us for free. We come out for free for all first time customers, whether that's for a service call or annual maintenance, or if you're just looking for an estimate for system replacement. And there's actually a link in the description below where you can actually schedule online at your convenience, as well as an up-to-date list of the cities and states that we service, so you can stay up-to-date when we start servicing your metro. Thanks again for tuning in. Make sure you smash that like button and subscribe for the algorithm if you haven't done so already. And as promised earlier, there's a few videos popping up on the screen right now that talk about heat pump efficiency ratings, as well as a few other heat pump topics that YouTube thinks you should watch. So make sure you check those out if you haven't done so already and we will catch you on the next episode.